I retired from my, my business uh, in February of 2014, and um, for two or three years before that, every spring I'd see an ad in the uh, Ellsworth American looking for, for seasonal people to work at the Seal Cove Auto Museum. And I always thought that would be an interesting thing to do, but couldn't do it because I was working, and I was fortunate enough to fall down on the ice and blow up my left knee and decided to retire and three months later I was here and my wife says she's sent me to camp for the summer. Oh, my favorite thing has got to be interacting with the visitors when, when they're out here looking at the cars and answering questions and pointing out uh, all the unique uh, attributes that these cars have. The, the interesting engineering in the FRP and the real advanced styling in that car it just uh, just fascinates me. Um, I think if I could take any one of them home with me, uh, that would be the one. My second car when I was still in high school was a 1940 Chevrolet um, four-door sedan with running boards and suicide doors. And uh, one of my best friends had a, a 1940 Pontiac um, with suicide doors and running boards. And we were driving up a hill. He was following me up a hill in the town I lived in and he decided to show off the power of his Pontiac by passing me and as he started to pass me he pulled up alongside and the guys in the back seats of both cars opened the doors as we were going up the hill and uh, from one car to the other across the running boards and the people in the Pontiac got in the Chevrolet and the people in the Chevrolet got in the Pontiac. We were probably only going 25 miles an hour but it was it was still pretty crazy, a lot of fun. Uh, working here is a, is a great way to spend my time. Uh, a lot of nice people working here, great cars to hang out with, interesting visitors. Um, if I'd known you could do this for a living, I probably would have done it a long time ago.